grandfather Nikolai here from Ernstcliffe College. I just wanted to tell you about uh, a recent uh, uh, development we've had here in Ernstcliffe. As you perhaps recall, my last uh, uh, recollection in November, I mentioned that uh, we would be getting a new readable for the chapel. Up until now, you've seen me preach in front of uh, uh, a somewhat old uh, Peruvian uh, painting of the Holy Family and I had promised that uh, we'd be getting a new one pretty soon. So in the following footage you will see the new painting that was installed uh, painted by Jose Antonio Ochoa, a Mexican who now lives in, in Spain and he sent this to us a few months ago. It took a little while to get it installed because of the pandemic, there were some delays, but now we have it. So I hope you like the following uh, footage that shows uh, the beauty of our oratory now and uh, hopefully it will allow a lot of people to pray really in close intimacy with God in His presence. So as we begin we see that of course the painting will be placed in a very sacred place where the Blessed Sacrament is so we have to start by removing the Blessed Sacrament uh, from the oratory so I invest myself here in the sacristy and uh, go to the Blessed Sacrament uh, to remove the little ciborium that is inside there in this beautiful tabernacle here with the enamel door and I remove the ciborium which holds uh, the sacred hosts and that's why we genuflect and uh, as Our Lady watches over us with Saint Joseph and the child and uh, well I use the humeral veil to uh, delicately carry the Blessed Sacrament. And now, as uh, I move along, I'm going to bring the Blessed Sacrament uh, through this little um, antechamber where St. Joseph is watching us there, into this little confessional where we have a safe. And so here I place our Lord in the safe hidden away and uh, we close the safe and of course always every time we close the door we give him our greeting of love and uh, I'm ready now to um, remove the Blessed Sacrament so here we have of course uh, Noel and uh, Felipe not removing the sacrament but the tabernacle itself well I mean this is a um, probably done uh, about uh, 30 or 40 years ago, but uh, inspired by Our Lady of Guadalupe. And uh, this, of course, is an image based on Our Lady of Guadalupe, but representing the uh, flight into Egypt. And there's Joseph with the child Jesus and Mary, and they're resting, they're resting. Uh, some people say it's a little bit in the style of the Kushkenian school, well, but uh, Joseph is a very stable figure there with his hand, and he is young, with the typical golden halo there above him. We are changing this because uh, we have seen this now for many years, and uh, we decided to spruce up the readable by giving something more dramatic. And this is, um, it's very meditative, but we wanted something very dramatic with more bold colors as we will see when we install the new painting by Jose Antonio Ochoa. Do you feel somewhat sad that we're replacing it with something new? Well, it has received the gaze of many people over the years. Many people have uh, prayed in front of this and Our Lady does look a little bit um, sad. She's holding a scepter, which is a traditional uh, symbolic uh, instrument that, that is seen sometimes in these paintings that shows her her queenship uh, although she's not wearing a crown but it shows her authority with her of intercession with her her son but uh, she is she looks somewhat sorrowful the way she looks kind of into the distance she doesn't exactly look at her son Whereas we will see in the new one, she looks at the viewer, she looks directly at us, you will see. And I think that is uh, 
perhaps more uh, captivating when you think that our lady is actually looking at you when she is interceding for you, you know? So we'll see how that goes. This is exciting! The new painting has arrived! Is the opposite sacrament in? No. So now that the tabernacle has been uh, installed and the painting is installed, well, now it's time to, of course, uh, put the most important person back. That's the Blessed Sacrament. It goes back into its place now. And so here I have to, of course, uh, place the altar cloth back and the dust cover, uh, which is uh, very well uh, uh, looked after by the administration in this uh, special role to keep it all very neat and uh, tidy and so of course I use again the humeral veil uh, to bring the Blessed Sacrament back from the safe and uh, as we traditionally do we pray on the way there uh, because we're going to be handling ultimately the center of uh, this whole oratory which is our Blessed Lord so here I am going back into the safe. We give the Lord a genuflection, of course, and have an occasion now to bring him back. And as uh, I come into the chapel now, our Lord gets placed there right on the corporal as you can see and uh, place him back into the tabernacle where he belongs so that we can adore him as we do every time we genuflect.
And of course, we finish uh, the whole operation by placing back uh, the candles there. So we invite you to come here to pray to Earnscliffe College anytime you want and uh, see this image and pray in front of the tabernacle. The image itself uh, at least reminds me of a Murillo painting from the 17th century, Flight into Egypt, um, that is in St. Petersburg now. But that's just a similarity. Here we have the Nativity by Jose Antonio Ochoa.